అప్పుడు వన్ కన్స్యూమరిజం డస్ నాట్ మేక్ యూ రియల్ ప్రొడ్యూస్ రియల్ హ్యాపీనెస్ ఫర్ యూ డి యూ రియలీ సీ దట్ దెర్ ఈస్ ఎ సోల్ విత్ ఇన్ దట్ దెర్ ఈస్ ఎ డివినిటీ విత్ ఇన్ దట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ద రియలైజేషన్ అండ్ అవేర్నెస్ ఆఫ్ దాట్ డివినిటీ విచ్ ఈస్ ఇన్ ఎవ్రీ క్రీచర్ దాట్ క్యాన్ మేక్ ఫర్ ఎ బెటర్ వరల్డ్ సాన్స్ this realization of divinity in everyone sans the recognition that we can have fullness of life only by making a journey from this internal being to the supreme being we cannot conceive of a better world the second world war came and left the third world war will come and go the fourth world war will come the stone age will come and there will be annihilations waste we need to discuss about that our task now is can we produce a better world should we not produce a better world and if we are to produce a better world what does it mean not better a more handsome wife more gold ornaments for her my children going to america in harvard university and get getting dollars upon dollars and then coming back home with so many presents for people here because they're coming from a glorious country to a pauperized country is that the better world that you you have in mind or you have family happiness people living together in peace security for everyone no terrorism this world ha- harmony this is the aim a harmonious human relationship prevailing providing each family each individual with happiness is that the goal indeed after the second world war when the united nations charter was drafted the emphasis was by the leaders of the earth the emphasis was upon the dignity of the individual and the worth of the human person a world which will have peace and will have will abolish the scourge of war these were the primary purposes achieved by the consciousness of the world community and its leaders when the world war ended and they formed the united nations and drew up a charter so the dignity of the individual a value for a better world the worth of the human person that there is what is called a person not the shirt not the three piece suit not the robes that i wore nor the other appendages which make me look more attractive or make me pleasurable the craze for pleasures not that the worth of the human person the dignity of the individual peace in society and the scourge of war being abolished just take these four values this great institution organized a few years ago million minutes billions of minutes of peace everyone in this world to spend one minute meditating on peace let there be peace there shall be peace why because we want to abolish war war means bloodshed blood and tears we do not want a war with blood and tears we want sisterhood and brotherhood of humanity that is the joy that this cosmos must enjoy if we are to have a better world what are these values being clear these are irrefutable values as i said dignity dignity of the individual means the recognition of the divinity in me i have godliness within the christian said christ said thy kingdom come the kingdom of god is within you the advaita philosophy said and vivekananda said there is divinity in each one in fact he said religion is the manifestation of the divinity in every man so the dignity of man is a material word a phrase used to express the more profound idea of divinity of man when i see a muslim i say there is divinity in you i cannot hate you because there is divinity in you 
When I see a Christian, I say there is divinity in you. I cannot hate you. When I see a man who spits on me, I say, you may spit because of your own misunderstanding of what you are. You, there is divinity in you. Your spitting is really because of misunderstanding of what you are. Refine your soul. I am a soul. This conception of I am a soul, but then this soul is encased in a body. But body is not the reality. The soul is the reality. When I do a good judgment in court, it is not because I want fame, but because I want to wipe every tear from every eye. What is behind every eye being, uh, every eye, uh, every tear being wiped by, uh, from every, every eye? Because that person's suffering is my suffering. God commands me, wipe out his tear. Love him. Treat him as your brother. Treat her, treat her as your sister. Then alone we can have a world, a better world of higher values. It is a chase for pursuit of higher values. But what are we having today? Affluent consumerism. Your bhoga, not tyaga. Used to be written here. I am, my eyesight is poor. It is not bhoga that we want. What we now have is chase for bhoga. Yesterday I read in the newspapers the discussion in parliament. Fast food must come, must be stopped. Fast food must be stopped. What is this fast food? This is pleasure. Fast food is not merely food. It is symbolic of all the vulgar pleasures that man and woman are crazy about. We want to be free. And you can never be free so long as you are overridden by of uh, the bondage of pleasures, vulgar pleasures, sex pleasures, and other pleasures, and ostentation, and ego mentioned there. Ego is at the root of all this. Ego, jealousy. I must pick up the Chief Justice. I must pick up the Chairman of the Law Commission. I must pick up the Chief Minister. I must become the Prime Minister. I must become the Rashtrapati. I must become this, that, and the other. And I must have all the palaces which belong to me. Although I might have cheated people, deceived people out of scam and built those palaces, but I must sit in the palace and other people must come and see and envy me. If this is what you want, you are not for a better world, you are for a vulgar world. <laughs> that is why I insist that this conference is really geared to awakening the soul within, geared to making you realize that this fossil body, while it is necessary that you keep your body clean, you must have, if you have dirt on your body, you must make it clean. Go to a Brahma Gumani center, you will get the cleanest food ever. I have always been telling them the best propaganda that you can do for the Brahma Kumari institution all over the world is whatever they give you to eat, it is the purest food. Because food matters. You may want food to keep this body alive, but that food must be pure, not carnivorous food, not alcoholic food. In fact, many people have liquid dinner before the regular dinner begins. <laughs> now, it is not that. What we want is not smoke, not the pipe. Then you get cancer. Your body becomes impure. It creates problems for you. It creates problems for hospitals. It creates problems for humanity. But realize that there is a body, and that body has to be kept clean, kept healthy, because in that body there is the soul. I am really the soul. There is that light burning. We can light, lit several candles today here. One candle can dispel the darkness of the entire world, provided that candle is kept burning. So it is my duty to see that this candle light is lit, and this candle is lit perpetually oiled. How? By constant communion with an eternal power a spiritual, supreme spiritual power. It is this linkage. The value, value nexus is 
between the individual soul which is burning candle the light within and my contact constantly always whatever i may do i may be speaking but i am thinking there is a supreme power i am part of that power i must have a link with that power it is that nexus which will charge my battery not oratory but charging the battery is a different device can we approach the problem from that angle then you come to understand whether shiva baba what is meant by shiva baba shiva is shivam satyam sundaram we always speak of satyam shivam sundaram it is the all religions of the world and even marxism without any religion in the con- the ordinary sense they always feel that humanity's happiness must be there in its purest sense and be your religion what it may you accept the fact that there is a, a selfless being within you that is the soul